Hello all and welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. Today we are going to see another interesting SQL question. So the question is you have a table with two columns named student name and birthday. So there each and every student has a birthday. So now the output is we want to show the students or the birthdays which are having more than one student. So here on April 15th we have three students Jacob, Susan and Tim and all these three names are shown in a single row with comma separated. And similarly, April uh, 23, we have Angie and Mike. So these two uh, students are, are shown in a single row with comma separated. So this is the required output. So let's go back to SQL Server Studio and see how we can get this. Okay, so I have already created this uh, XML script and uh, I'll provide you in the comment section. So let's start from students. So if you run this, we are, what we are getting, this is the input. So now what I'll do, uh, so first I will try to see, I will try to get the birth dates where more than one student is celebrating. So for that I will use a simple group by, select birth day, comma count of 1 as cnt from students, group by birth day. So this particular query will give me the number of students for each of the birth day. So yeah. So these are the number of students for each of the birthday. But I want only uh, birthdays where more than one student is celebrating. So I'll simp I'll have to remove the birthdays which are uh, celebrated only uh, when a single student is celebrated. Those birthdays I have to remove. So for that I have to use the having clause. Having count of one greater than one. So this will uh, remove the outliers and give me only the required data. So now we have received, uh, we have, uh, we got the required uh, birthdays where more than one student is celebrating. So I'll keep this uh, particular birthdays in a CTE with CTE as. This is pretty simple. So now um, I will simply write select from students S inner join CTE C on S dot birthday is equal to c dot birthday and here it is c dot birthday comma s dot student name so with this i will get all the required st um, students with each of the birthdays so april 15 three three students are celebrating and uh, may 23 two two students are celebrating so now here comes the main challenge how to club this multiple rows into single row with comma separated values so for that, I'll use something called string aggregate function, string underscore agg. So this particular function is available only post SQL 27 version, string underscore agg. So this requires two uh, parameters. One is the column name and the second one is the uh, comma or the delimiter with which you want to show the output or with which you want to separate the columns into multiple rows. So you want to separate it with a comma. So we need a delimiter. So now if I run this query, uh, we are getting an error saying this bird dev is in, um, because you need, okay. So since we are uh, grouping multiple rows into a single row, we need to use the group by clause, group by C dot bird dev. And now if I run this, so yeah, this is pretty simple simple uh, string aggregate function is simply giving us the output. So hope you all understood this procedure and uh, I'll mention here it's post, uh, present only post SQL 2017 version. So now how to if you're having a version which is older than SQL 27 let's see how to get that. I'll use XML and stuff function for that. So before using XML I would like to sh uh, explain you what XML function returns. So basically XML returns the particular table output into an XML. So for that select student, okay select from students and student name comma birthday. So for XML path of, so, so this is a simple, uh, if you want to convert a table into an XML, this is the simple uh, uh, syntax. So if I read some for XML path, so this is the output we receive, we get. So when I click this, a new file will be created with the XML. So if you see all the records 
uh, with all the columns and rows. Uh, so student name um, for each row and in the student name, one new node is created with student name and the value is stored. And for birthday also, one node is created. So for each of the records, two, two nodes are created for each of the record, uh, one with student name and one with the birthday. But if I want to di distinguish between the records, I'll need, I want, if I want to insert one more uh, uh, daily or the node, which are distinguished between the records. So how to do that? So in this, if I mention anything like test, so what will happen? And if I run this, so yeah, this is the output. So each and every row is uh, clubbed into student name. So student name in this, in one row will be clubbed into student name node and birthday node. And this particular uh, one single row will be clubbed under test. Okay, so this is how uh, if you want if you if you want to dis distinguish between multiple records. So for this for our solution, we want to show it in a single record. I mean, we don't want any uh, we don't want any nodes. So and I don't want um, birthdays as well. I just want comma separated values. So for that, I'll 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 write comma plus student name as students. So if I run this, so this is what we are getting. So students, particular comma name is the students. So all the comma separated, uh, comma plus the student name are being stored in the student notes. So now this is not still not uh, required because we don't want the student node. We just want comma separated values in the single row. So I'll remove the students node also. So for that, I'll not keep any aliasing for this column. And if I run this simply, yeah, if you see here, there is no uh, nodes, just a simple, uh, st uh, all the comma separated, uh, comma plus the va uh, row value are coming into a single row. So now, here the main uh, main part is we need to remove the first column. I mean the first uh, comma and keep it as blank. So for that, I have to use this uh, stuff function. So for in the stuff function, I use select stuff of. So stuff of has four stuff function has four parameters. First one is the string, and second one is the starting position, and uh, third one is the number of characters uh, from the starting position, and fourth one is with what you want to replace. So we want to replace starting here. The starting position is one because we want to replace this particular comma with blank. So the starting position is one, and the number of characters. If you see the number of characters, the next argument is number of characters. So number of characters is also one because only one comma need to be uh, replaced, and it should be replaced with a uh, blank value. So select. So this one is the input string, and uh, I'll keep comma one, which is the number of character uh, starting position, and again comma one, which is the number of characters to be replaced, and again blank value. Uh, blank value gives the f first character to be replaced with a blank. So I'll, I'll click on execute. So if you see a comma separated value is created. But this is not the required output. We want with the birthday. So uh, I'll just copy this entire thing. With, with, uh, I'll reuse this code. So select uh, with CT. Um, I'll create one more CT. CT2 as uh, select from CT see another one students s on c dot birthday is equal to s dot birthday c dot birthday comma s dot student name so now here this particular query will give me the birthdays and the student name combination with only the birthdays where more than one student is celebrating so now uh, select star from ct2. So if I run this, I'll just get the birthdays with the user student name. Now I have to concatenate this all. So with how to get this using stuff function. So just I'll write select star from ct2, let it be like this. And the first column I required is the birthday. Birthday. And I'll uh, next one I have to use the stuff function stuff of so the, what is the uh, i need to write the sql query sql query is select comma uh, uh, 
yeah select comma plus student name uh, from CT to uh, for XML path okay so now um, uh, where I need to write on I need to group it by birthday so I need to um, take this where birthday is equal to TT dot birthday so now if I write this select yeah I have to close the stuff function as well one comma one comma line so if I run this what am I getting so yeah if you see all these five rows are coming uh, but with the here this is not the output because the same uh, birthday uh, I mean for one birthday since three users are there three records are coming so but I want it only in a single record so this stuff function value I'll keep it as students and I'll just use simply distinct so distinct will give me only one record so yeah this is how we uh, we use stuff function and XML function to get the required output so now instead of stuff function I can also use the replace function or the substring function I'll, I'll use substring also substring also will uh, our after the after the XML path our main uh, use is to remove this uh, comma so we can also use substring function so post your uh, uh, solution in the comment section using the substring function hope you all like this video uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos thank you have a nice day